hopefully you're familiar with enums from other languages. I'm going to uh, assume you know nothing about enums. Um, let's say we want to do a certain case where we want to keep track of animals, different types of animals. So, so one way we would do that in code is const int uh, if it's a sheep, and then generally const int integers we all we uppercase them all. A sheep will say zero, and then const int uh, cow will say one. Const int control u to lowercase that uh, donkey uh, and donkeys too, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's do fish. That's three. So say we wanted to, we just need an enumerated list of constants. And so if I say int int my animal gets sheep, then now we have this symbolic S H E E P, which has more meaning to me as a programmer than zero. Or let's do let's do donkey, just because I like Shrek. I'll put donkey in here. And so now I'm saying, well, my animal is is donkey. And really, underneath the covers, it's a two. But two has no meaning to me. If I came down here and put a two, my animal is two. And now I can't immediately see, or it doesn't click immediately in my head that oh, two is a donkey. No, it's I have to go up here and look. So, so I'd rather be able to just say, hey, it's it's a donkey, okay? And then we could do checks like later on in our code, if we had, you know, some processing here, and then later we could say if if my animal is equal to a fish, then I'm gonna do something in here. Else, if uh, control U, else if my animal is equal to donkey. Then let's do something down here. Um, and then else, well, let's forget all other animals and maybe they're not worthy or whatever. But but see how this uh, the, these constants have made the code a little bit more readable. I can say, well, if the animal is a fish, then we're going to do fishy kind of things in here. And if my animal is a donkey, we're going to go around and and do donkey kind of stuff. And so so it helps with the readability. Well, there's actually a built-in way of doing this. And that's called enums. If I say enum here, and I put these curlies, I can't remember if I need the, well, I don't know, we'll find out. I'm going to use the alt key and drag a square here so I can delete this. And then I can uh, leave the values. I've got to put commas instead of semicolon. I can leave the values if I want to be explicit or do different values. Or I can take these off, and the compiler will uh, just put 0, 1, 2, 3 in there for me. Which is kind of nice because as a programmer, I really don't care about the numbers. I care more about sheep, cow, donkey, and fish. So it does look like I need a semicolon here. Okay, so so notice the code still the same. Let's build it. Build succeeded. It's all good. So so just to prove that the compiler is actually giving a value to these things, I'm going to print one of them out. So let's print out cow. Oh, I just totally inverted that, didn't I? Uh, Control U, Control Shift U, Control U, and let's get rid of our ifs here and our checks. And I could actually use a switch statement generally with enums, or that's what we're doing is with switch statements. But switches are bad too. Notice here though, cow is one, which cow is zero. So sheep's zero, cow is one. So that makes sense. We print out to one. So that's that's enums in a general nutshell. Um, we can uh, name these enums so. I'm gonna say this is the animals. So it's so doing that uh, actually allows th this is like defining a new type. It's an integer-like type, but it's actually it's it's an enum called animals. So now I can say okay, animals. Hey, I can make an instance of this thing. Gets uh, animals, and notice using the uh, scope resolution operator, IntelliSense pops up here and says, well, which which animal would you like? I'm gonna say well, let's do fish this time. And now I can see out, instead of this hard code constant static value, I can do a dynamic value, which is A here, determined at runtime. And um, we can run that. Let's see, build, there we go. And it's 3. Well, 3 doesn't, I actually like C sharp a little better. When we get into the Qt libraries, we'll see that, that we don't necessarily have to have 3. We can have it say fish. But C++, just raw C++, is not so accommodating. Generally, these I guess their idea was we're going to do these in code. And so that we're, that's all where it really matters. Um, again, this A really is an integer kind of thing. So I can say int i gets A here. 
and um, C out I in line. Very good. So we'll see, we got three three. But what's interesting is going the other direction. If I say uh, animals B gets I. Well, you would think that since I is an integer kind of thing and animals is an integer kind of thing, that that this would be safe. But the compiler is actually going to come around and say, "Hey, um, I can't convert an int to an animals," which is a little disappointing that they allow us to go this way, but not the other way. So the way we can get around that is what I showed in the earlier video: static cast. Um, it's actually an animals, and there we go. I'm saying force it. It will happen. I know it's good. Then notice the red squiggly went away and we build just fine another trick I like to do is is to enumerate through these so what I'll actually do is uh, max here so then when I we can do a for loop through all the animals we could say um, for oops for and I get zero I less than animals max I plus plus, and then here I can do some, well, I don't want to print I because that's just going to be a numeric value, but I can do some processing in here based on going through all these animal enums. Anyway, that's another trick I do. So that's that's enums. There's some caveats with the enums, some gotchas in C++ that we don't experience in other languages, but I'll show that in a future video.